Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. It is meal prep. It's actually the first meal prep since the new plan was released and I'm going to be sharing with you guys the recipe points for you individually. If you didn't see my video that went out on Sunday answering all of your questions about the new plan, I went over how I was able to figure out how to share recipes with you and when you open them up, they recalculate for your points, which is amazing for all of us that put out recipes to have it recalculate and be personalized to you. So the points that I'm sharing on the screen for today's meal prep are my points, but remember when you open up the recipe, you'll find that on my recipe website, it will recalculate it to your point. So that's very, very exciting. So if you're excited for these three recipes, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Don't forget to check out the description box for all four recipe ebooks. They contain points, calories. There's 15 recipes per ebook and it's only $15 a piece. So definitely check that out. Get your hands on those while they're still available. I also offer nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories, one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have a little bit of something for everyone. You'll also find everything I shared with you today as well as links and discounts to all of my favorite things. And lastly, head on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you join our community over there. So let's go ahead and jump in to this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making a loaded overnight breakfast casserole. So we're gonna get this into the refrigerator and allow it to sit all morning while we put together the rest of our meal prep. But let me show you what's in breakfast. You're going to need a loaf of Italian bread, light shredded cheese, mozzarella cheese, center cut bacon, 99% extra lean ground turkey, eggs, salt and pepper, parsley and paprika. The recipe also calls for dry mustard, which I don't have any, so I'll make sure that's included in the original recipe. And then you're going to need some low-fat milk. Into a skillet, go ahead and add your pound of 99% ground turkey. This is in substitution of the sausage that the recipe calls for. So what I like to do whenever I substitute ground turkey, ground chicken, ground beef in place of sausage is I like to season it with some pork and poultry seasoning. This just gives it that sausage flavor. So I'm going to add a little bit of this to my ground turkey and allow it to cook completely through. And we're going to turn our oven on and get our bacon ready to go into the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and put the entire package of center cut bacon into the oven, 400 degrees until it's crispy. Whatever bacon is left over, I just throw it into a Ziploc bag and then we just have pre-cooked bacon on hand. It just makes it much easier during the week. Now we're going to take our loaf of Italian bread while the sausage, AKA turkey, is cooking and the bacon is, we're going to weigh this out. This is a 14 ounce loaf and we want 12 ounces of this loaf. So there'll be a pretty good size slice left and we're going to chop this up into half inch cubes. Now into a small bowl, we're going to crack eight eggs. Now we're going to add two and two thirds cup of low fat or 1% milk. And we're going to add our seasoning starting with some parsley, paprika, salt and pepper. We're going to whisk this together and then set it aside. 
So we're ready to put together the casserole. So I have the 12 ounces of Italian bread diced up. Here is my cooked ground sausage. And what I'm going to do is put that right over the top of the bread. Then we're going to crumble up our 10 slices of center cut bacon and put that right over the top of the sausage. And then I have one cup of light shredded cheese, one half of a cup of mozzarella. I kind of mixed it up a little bit and we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of this cheese to the top, about three quarters of the total cheese. And then we're going to take that egg mixture and pour it over the top. Make sure that you get some of the egg mixture all over the entire casserole. And then we're going to take a wooden spoon and we're going to press. We want to make sure that the bread is fully soaked in the egg mixture. Now we're going to add the remainder of our cheese. We're going to cover this with some aluminum foil and put it in the refrigerator, ideally overnight, but I'm going to let it sit in there for several hours while I do the rest of this week's meal prep. Five hours later. So I just pulled the overnight breakfast casserole out of the fridge. It looks like all of the egg is soaked up, which is exactly what you're looking for. You want to make sure there's no liquid left in your baking dish. So we're putting this into a 375 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes or until it's cooked through. You again want the eggs cooked completely and that bread nice and toasty and the cheese melted. I just pulled the loaded breakfast casserole out of my oven. This looks and smells so good. I don't know if you can see, look at that. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for this this week. Let's go over again my points, but the link will give you your points on my website and the calories. So the breakfast bake makes a total of 10 servings. So it's a pretty good size serving. For me, it is only six points, which is incredible. This is a complete breakfast. All you would have to do if you wanted was add some fruit, but it is a complete breakfast. It is 300 and nine calories per serving. Again, cannot wait to dig into this all week. For my lunches this week, I'm making ham and bean soup. I am really excited to have a good hearty soup for lunches this next week. Let me show you what is in the recipe. So you're going to need a ham bone, a ham hock. I think you can substitute bacon as well. I'm not sure about that. The original recipe gives some ham bone substitutions and that recipe of course will be linked on my website. I am not counting the points for this because we're not actually eating this. We're just using this for flavor and then it's removed from the soup. But I went ahead and picked up just a pork Hawk. You're going to need some diced ham, some carrots. My carrots were not any good. I didn't realize that and I did have these shredded carrots so I'm going to use these. Otherwise you would use two full carrots and just dice those up. Some celery, fresh garlic, a yellow onion, light butter, salt and pepper. The recipe calls for cannellini beans or white beans. I have these two cans of Great Northern beans in my pantry so I wanted to use those up. And then for the third can called for in the recipe, I'm actually going to do black beans only because I have these on hand and I didn't want to buy more when I have these three cans in my pantry. For seasoning, you'll need rosemary, Italian, thyme, bay leaves, and cumin, and you can also add red pepper flakes if desired. And then you're going to need an entire box of chicken broth as well as two cups of water. To my bowl here, I'm going to go ahead and mince my garlic, chop up a couple stalks of celery, my onion, and add in my carrots. So to get started on the soup, I have one tablespoon of light butter and one tablespoon of avocado oil. I'm going to allow this to get nice and hot before we add in the ham bone. Once your butter and oil is nice and hot, we're going to place in our ham bone and we're actually going to let it cook for a couple minutes on each side, remove it and set it on a plate. Now we're going to reduce the heat down to medium and we're going to add in the onions, carrots, celery, and garlic. And we're going to let those cook down for just a couple of minutes. Now we're going to add in our entire package of the diced ham. Now I'm going to add in all of my seasonings starting with Italian, rosemary, 
thyme, cumin, salt and pepper, And if you would like, you can add in a couple of bay leaves and some red pepper chili flakes, which I am going to omit that. We're also adding in all three cans of our drained and rinsed beans. Now we're adding four cups or an entire carton of chicken broth. And two cups of water. Give that another stir. Ooh, this looks so good. I can't wait. And then we're going to put that ham bone back into the pot, kind of right in the middle. So nestle it down in all of the goodness. And go ahead and add any drippings as well. That's going to add some flavor. We're going to increase this to high heat, allow it to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to medium low. And we're going to allow this to simmer for about 30 minutes. Every 10 minutes or so, you're going to want to give it a quick stir. You don't want anything to scorch to the bottom of the pan. So our soup has been simmering now for about a half of an hour. So I'm actually going to remove the ham hock. We're going to remove your bay leaves if you used any bay leaves. I'm going to allow this to cool for just a couple of minutes. It is scorching hot. And then we will go over the points and the calories. So here is the soup. So that ham hock is just going to add that smoky, meaty flavor. And we do have some protein as well between the beans and the ham, but that's what's really going to give it the flavor. So you can go ahead and toss the ham hock once you remove it from the soup. I'm going to let this cool completely. I'm just going to store it in my pot, put the lid on, put it in the refrigerator, but let's go ahead and go over points and calories. And remember, the points are my points. However, the rest recipe will automatically recalculate to your points once you click on it. So this entire pot of soup makes only six servings. So it is a large serving. It's going to be at least over a cup, if not two cups of the soup. It is only two points. That is it because I actually have beans for zero points. So the only thing that counts for points for me is the ham as well as that little bit of butter and oil. It's 263 calories per serving, which is not bad. This is going to be such a delicious comfort food lunch. For my dessert this week, I'm making apple pie parfaits. Super low point, super low calorie, a great little dessert or sweet treat. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need three large apples. Mine are small to medium, so I went ahead and did four apples. Light Cool Whip, brown sugar alternative. Of course, I'm using the Lakanto Golden. I will link Lakanto in the description box with 15% off for you. You guys know it's my favorite sweetener and heads up on Lakanto. It is one of the sugar substitutes that does not have points. A lot of the sugar substitutes have points now. Lakanto brand does not. So take advantage of that 15% off. Graham cracker crumbs, light butter, salt, and cinnamon. So the first thing we need to do is actually peel and dice our apples. We're going to dice them very, very small. your butter is just about melted we're going to go ahead and add in our diced up apples and we're going to allow this to cook for five to seven minutes or until the apples have started to soften once your apples have softened we're going to add half of a cup Lakanto golden we're going to add a pinch of salt and of course some cinnamon and you already know I'm going to add a lot of cinnamon about a tablespoon and then we're going to stir this together and allow it to cook down for just a couple more minutes we want to create a brown sugar glaze or sauce over these apples I just removed the apples from the heat I'm going to allow it to cool completely before we put together the parfaits. We don't want the hot apples to melt the whipped cream. 
So let's put together these parfaits. So our entire batch of apples here make six parfaits. So my favorite way to put these together is in a wine glass. They're small, they're pretty. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit of apples to the bottom of my wine glass. And when I calculated the points for this recipe, I planned on two tablespoons of Cool Whip. So we're going to want to divide those two tablespoons out between the two parfaits. I'm going to add a tablespoon of Cool Whip right on top of those apples. And it's going to melt down just a little bit with the apples because they are still a little bit warm. And then we're going to add in another scoop of apples. Remember your apples make six servings, so be mindful of how much you're adding. And then we're going to add that other tablespoon of whipped cream. You can also use the canned whipped cream to make it a little bit prettier. And then I am going to add not even a teaspoon of graham cracker crumbs right on top. That would add zero additional points. So here is what the parfait looks like. Now it's not full all the way, but it's a perfect size dessert, perfect sweet treat. So each little apple pie parfait is only two points. And that does not include the graham cracker crumbs. If you only add a tiny bit like I do, it doesn't add any additional points. But if you do decide to add more, you'll want to definitely add in those points. And the parfait is only 78 calories. So less than 100 calories for an apple pie dessert. Thank you for joining me on another WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes that I shared with you today. And don't forget uh, down in the description box, you'll find my recipe website. When you open up each of these recipes, there will be a link for you to click on. You'll log into your WW app and it will automatically recalculate the points of my recipes for you. I'm seriously so excited about this still. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Again, in the description box, you'll find my recipe website, my four eBooks, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to all my favorite things. And lastly, don't forget to head on over, join us on Facebook. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.